A. Genuine well wishes and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and your beloved a safe journey in 2022 too. In spite of the two waves of three waves of Corona, with the fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline in progress, all variants of cancer, all with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist, come good hearted preacher, Professor S. Suresh, back with the sheer ecstasy, with the curiosity of an infant to learn the unknowns. For my 197th video, 197, on Unreal of Publication on YouTube today, 19th November 2022, Saturday. The topic for today is why maths is the most hated subject universally. I assure you my videos are short and sweet worth every femtosecond of second of your precious time. We are mortal but our videos are immortal. So we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever having published 197 videos so far including this video for the benefit of society that too absolutely free. All of us are aware that mathematics is the most hated subject by majority of people all around the globe. This video might be an enabler to turn this subject as a subject that is liked. Mathematics, the word mathematics ca comes from ancient Greek, mathma, meaning that which is learned, which one gets to know, hence also study and science. Its adjective is mathematicos, meaning related to learning or st studious, which likewise further came to mean mathematical, in particular mathematic technique, Latin. Arts Mathematica meant a mathematical art. It is an area of knowledge that includes topics as numbers, formulas and related structures, shapes and the shapes, spaces in which they are contained, and uh, quantities and the changes. These topics are represented in modern mathematics with uh, the major uh, sub-disciplines of number theory, algebra, geometry and analysis. Most mathematical activity involves the discovery of properties of abstract objects and the use of pure reason to prove them. These objects consist of either abstractions from nature or in modern mathematics entities that are stipulated with certain properties called axioms. Mathematics is a creation of the human mind, so it can be understood by all humans to particular levels an inanimate object and idea. A proof consists of a succession of applications of directive rules to already established results. These results include previously proved theorems, axioms, and in case of abstraction from nature, some basic properties that are considered as true starting points of the theory under consideration. Some areas of mathematics such as statistics and game theory are uh, developed in uh, close correlation with their applications and are often grouped under applied mathematics. Other mathematical areas are developed independently from any application and are therefore called pure mathematics, but practical applications are often discovered later. Prime reasons for the hatred to mathematics. General dislike, even if you may not be good at math, if you have a positive experience, you are more prone to not give up, not enjoy. Teachers do not put in requisite effort to make learning maths a positive experience. Grading of this subject is very strict, stringent, harsh. Mass teachers are very strict and indulge in harsh punishment for slow learners, sometimes even capital punishment. You know what is capital punishment, right? Okay. Beating the students and uh, things like that. Teachers make the students feel very inferior, resulting in low self-esteem of students. The word mathematics brings forth feelings of spine-tingling fear from the majority of the masses while giving way to a regrettable respect. Teachers in education institutes mint money through tuition, especially in mass. So purposely they do not teach it properly while at work. Just take how many students attend tuition for mass 
whether it be school or college teachers lack the devotion to work in olden times teachers used to teach everything with passion and they were respected by the students which say rightly deserve the field of education has a unique feature in that there is no one correct method of instruction for any discipline including mathematics a high number of mathematicians find very many mathematical ideas difficult but they have internal sources of conviction and the ability to eventually make sense of the ideas however students with external sources of conviction will not make sense of mathematics unless their sources of conviction are shifted if the student commits to learn learning the process needed to solve certain types of problems and they can recognize different types of problems the mathematics involved is often reduced to only arithmetic drisco in 2000 year 2000 refers to this process as schema learning pure mathematicians can never teach anything since teaching requires practical experience other than academics teachers lack necessary communication skills lack of passion of teaching community most of them do it one one and only to earn money not otherwise teachers himself or herself has a bad relationship with the subject in other words it teachers subconsciously conveys a negative attitude towards the students about what the students in help most of the mistakes that are made when students face problem solving are due to the fact that they have learned to do this by applying recipes mechanically without deep reasoning a subject in which the method must triumph over the content is often taught by traditional models based on explanatory classes leaving content transfer in the background students learners have difficulty in understanding the subject pure pure in construct in instruction and demand of more time to grasp but even after which they easily forget what is learned matters a lot mathematics is considered a difficult subject by most of the students due to averse averse your teaching style difficulty in following the instruction difficulty in understanding the subject and difficulty in remembering its equations and ways to solve problems tips to make maths and uh, as a subject most like mathematics needs a public relations make over perceptions need to be remolded mathematics can be viewed as an intellectual game like chess an opportunity to question explore have fun and get excited wrong answers are path are a path to learning and an opportunity to play the game again and again students learners like ch- challenges so math should be taught as a challenge which can be overcome with effort and commitment any unknown will be learned if it is learned with the real life examples rather than as a boring concept students learners should be made to understand the importance of application of maths in real life any subject should be taught as an applied subject rather than as a pure subject you know what is applied what is pure pure leads to boredom applied leads to interest okay maths is an exercise for the mind should be a confidence builder not a breaker students should be trained to use apply the mind concrete learning rather than memorizing road abstract learning knowledge learned will stay forever curriculum should be structured in such way in a way that more focus should be on application for example in management field students learn through application of their knowledge to real life scenarios called case studies not everyone learns spatially some prefer to think of three dimensions in terms of matrices so the mathematics teaching community must continue to expand their methods of instruction philosophical and psychological teachings can be interwoven with the teachings of mathematics getting to the minds of the students and changing perceptions and stereotypes regarding mathematics and their own abilities to do mathematics would be a step in the right direction teaching could be defined as a performance art and the audiences of the mathematics teacher are some of the th- toughest to perform for performance teachers should be 
introspective about the performance. One should analyze the effectiveness of one's teaching not only through student performance, but also through self-reflection. Mathematics teachers need to realize that many students have feelings of incompetence towards mathematics and show empathy to those affected while working to reconstruct their sites. It is safe to say that we are not all born with the same inherent mathematics abilities, but it's also safe to say that we are not born with a hatred, apprehension or fear of mathematics. One can understand others' views, issues, problems only if you put yourself in the other shoes. So as teachers try to understand why learners have learned maths from their perspective, involve students, learners to formulate appropriate teaching strategies and uh, pedagogies, methods. The hate, hate for maths is transmitter, teachers are the key. Active methodologies allow the student to take responsibility for the learning process. doing some editing here. Yeah? Excuse me for that. The role of the teacher is that of activity designer in which the students apply what they have learned in practice. Learned in practice. Part of this class time should be devoted to the student working on contextualized activities in which each or she can resolve their doubts with the help of the teacher. Yeah, that is called as uh, Yeah, proctored uh, classes. Okay, digital competence has become more one of the basic competencies of the current teacher. Teach through audiovisual aids called ICT. Make teaching interesting and lively by involving students. Basically, teaching learning is a two-way process. Improve students' intellectual abilities, self-efficacy, task value beliefs, cognitive skills, etc. Liking of mathematics is associated with more positive effects like interest, positive expectations, higher self-efficacy and personal values towards math, whereas dislike is associated with boredom, low self-efficacy, fear and negative expectancies. Mathematics has some inherent difficulties due to its abstract and cumulative nature, so students require a firm foundation they may not be able to learn new things without previous knowledge. For many students, expectancy about the difficulty of maths is high and personal value attached with maths is low. Teachers need to be trained to enhance their communication skills, psychological abilities, teaching pedagogies, digital technologies, etc. These tips are not only true for maths but for any subject in general. So I advise all teachers, gurus to practice these tips and certainly teachers to, I mean students, learners will find education institutes have the best place to learn unknowns teach with passion and entice train the students to learn and practice and realize turn education institutes as temples of wisdom not boredom debates discussion on topics like this open ended topics like this can go on forever Anyhow, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements, views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of personal experience. Always watch these videos with closed captions, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as per my sincere recommendation. Zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today, I must have taken about 10 11 minutes. This time limit is self imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing. Attribute the pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the supreme power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural and unnatural events like bio war, cyber war, pandemics, epidemics, 
which ultimately pays the way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of theirs. Rest in peace and harmony. <laughs>